Hello everyone, this is Tim with Paintball Tech. Got a short rebuild video for you guys today. This is a ANS Jackhammer 2 style OPR. These are pretty simple to rebuild. So, to dig into these, you need uh, one tool, which is a uh, .050 Allen key to remove these set screws here on the back. And then also um, a uh, 1032 threaded rod, the caulking rod off of an auto cocker works just fine. I'll show you what that's for in a second. So, to remove these set screws, it's just as simple as unscrewing each one in order. They should come out pretty easily. This is to access the rig seat inside the regulator. Set aside. This piece should come out just like that. It'll slide out and you'll have the rig pin and spring inside this housing and an o-ring on here. Inside the regulator body You can see the rig seat there in the bottom. Um, these rig seats can be purchased still from ANS, uh, ANSgear.com if you need a replacement. A lot of the older LPRs at this point, they had a, uh, a red, uh, I believe, polyurethane seat in it. And those, uh, a lot of the times, are disintegrated or broken or cracked or something like that. This is a newer LPR, so it has the clear polyurethane seat in it. This one's actually in good shape, so I'm not going to pull it out and replace it. However, to replace it, the easiest thing to do is take a dental pick and just dig the seat out, and the new one will just press right in. There's a, a groove in there that the, the seat will fit into. Now for the front side of this LPR, this just unscrews the front cap. The cap will come out. And you'll have the main spring here in the front. And then the piston inside, that's what you need your 1032 threaded rod for. It's actually threaded on the, uh, the front, so you screw the rod into the piston and use that to pull it out, like so. That's the order of everything inside. Oops. Should be like that. Now to go through and replace the seals. This one here on the back side. Comes off. That is a... Standard 015. And the piston spring can go back in there. One here on your main piston is a size 11. That's the old one. Here's a new one. Now these rigs um, generally just use oil when you rebuild them, so we're just going to coat the parts in oil for reassembly. So go ahead and put this back on the rod, put some oil on your o-ring. Uh, there is also, I should mention, a uh, a thick o-ring right here on the front of this lip. That's a, uh, a tension o-ring for the threads on your cap. It doesn't generally need to be replaced unless it's like absolutely shredded. Um, most of the time it, it doesn't seal anything, it's just to hold the cap from unscrewing during use. So, put the piston back in. And screw the adjuster cap back in. 
Put some oil on your rear o ring here. And then a little bit in the housing so it has a smooth surface to glide over. You don't want it to get dinged up. And then you want to make sure that when you put this in, that this pin lines up with the hole in the center of the um, rag seat before it's pressed into place. And then simply line up your holes for the set screws along the edge and put your set screws back in. The first one should be easy to get in. Um, if you've replaced the reg seat, this piece might be a little bit hard to press down, so just kind of grab the housing and push it in with your thumb so you can get the, uh, the first set screw in. Once the first one's in, then you can kind of push this off to the side to make it easier to line up the holes for the other set screws around the edge. I like doing them in a cross, so one, two, three, four. That way the tension is equally distributed. And then just snug them down. You don't want them super, super tight because you might strip the screw heads. And as always, wipe down any excess oil or grease on the outside of the LPR. And that's all rebuilt with your brand new seals and should be ready to install on your marker. Thank you very much. Have a good day.